Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the balanced delta connection, details about the balanced delta connection, relation between line and phase values of voltage and current. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification, soft copy of this material available in the drive, the link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic, balanced delta connection, delta or mesh connection. So the connection is nothing but starting end of one coil is connected to the finishing end of other phase coil and so as which give the closed circuit. So the starting of one coil is connected to finishing end of another coil and make it as a closed circuit that is called a delta connection or mesh connection. Now we will see the diagram. So this is the three phases available R, Y, B, this phase, R phase, B phase and Y phase. So the one end of the phase is connected to another end of the next phase. So the connected end to end so that it is become a closed circuit. So that is called a closed circuit. From that the tappings are taken R phase, Y phase and B phase. So this is the line. This is called a line voltage or line current. At this end this is called a phase voltage or phase current. So this R phase, Y phase, B phase. The voltage across R and Y phase is VRY. The voltage across Y and B phase is VYB. This is called a line voltage. The voltage across R and B is VBR, line voltage. The current flowing through the R phase is IR line. Current flowing from Y phase is IY line. B phase is BB, IB line. So these are all the line voltage, these are all line current. Now we will refer the phase voltage and phase current. Now see this R Y line is split into two currents I R phase and I B phase. So the current is split here. Similarly I Y line current is split into two I Y I R phase and I Y phase. Similarly I B line current is split into I Y phase I B phase. The current is split that is the I R line current is the vector sum of I R phase current and I B phase current. So the line current is the vector sum of the phase current. Similarly see the voltage VRY, voltage across VRY is equal to the voltage across the phase R phase, VR phase, both are equal. VRY is equal to see the terminal VRY is equal to VR phase. So VR line voltage equal to VR phase voltage. So in delta or mesh connection, line voltage is equal to phase voltage, right? Line voltage is equal to phase voltage. Similarly, line current is the vector sum of phase current. That is the important thing. Voltage, line voltage is equal to phase voltage. Line current is vector sum of phase currents. Right? So, based on that, we can go for the further relation. What are the voltage and current equations are available? So, let line voltage VRY equal to VYB equal to VBR equal to VN. So, this is a balanced system. So the voltage across the phases are equal. The voltage across RY phase, voltage across YB phase, voltage across BR phase are equal. That is taken as VL. Generally it is line current, line voltage. Similarly phase voltage, VR phase equal to VY phase equal to VB phase. That is equal to V phase. All are equal. So generally we termed as phase, V phase. Then line current. IR line equal to IY line equal to IB line. The line current in R phase, line current in Y phase, line current in B phase all are equal. Generally it is named as I line. Similarly phase current, IR phase equal to IY phase equal to IB phase. That is equal to I phase. Right? So because of balanced system, this line voltage, phase voltage, line current, phase current all are equal generally it is termed as VL, line voltage is VL, phase voltage is VPH, line current is I line, phase current is IPH, right. Now we will see the relation, relation between this current and voltage. First we will see the relation between line and phase voltages. For delta connection line voltage VL and phase voltage are equal, we already discussed in the diagram. Line voltage and phase voltages are equal. So, VRY equal to VR phase. VYB equal to VY phase. VBR equal to VB phase. So, therefore, line current VL equal to phase current VPH. Right? In delta connection, 
line voltage is equal to phase voltage. We already discussed in the diagram. Now we will see the relation between the current. I already discussed line current is the vector sum of phase currents. We will see the equation. So the relation between line and phase current for delta connection IR line equal to IR phase minus IB phase because in the diagram the directions are opposite so that it is a vector sum means it is minus one current is flowing one direction another current is flowing in opposite direction so there is a difference difference between these two is the line current so IR line is the IR phase minus IB phase similarly IY line equal to IY phase minus IR phase IB line equal to IB phase minus IY phase right so by clearly we discuss in the diagram line current is the vector sum of phase currents in that the currents are flowing in opposite direction due to that we got negative sign subtraction difference between the current so that is current in each line is vector difference of two two of the phase currents vector difference vector sum because of negative it is become vector difference right so the line current is the vector difference of phase current so based on that we can draw the phase diagram phase diagram relating the current and relating the current phase current and line current right now we'll see that this is the line current ir line iy line ib line all are differed by 120 degree r y b right IR line, IY line, IB line. We need to add, we need to identify, we need to find the these values, right? Our aim is to find the line current. That is the vector sum of these two phase current. So we start with the phase current, IR phase. It is in a x axis, IR phase. This IY phase having 120 degree phase difference. With another 120 degree phase difference, we have IB line, right? First we will refer phase current, then we will find the line current. IR phase, IY phase, IB phase. This opposite side we have IR minus IR phase. Here opposite side we have minus IY phase. In this we have on the opposite side we have minus IB phase. Right? This minus IB phase. Right? So that this IR, I, 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 IR, this IR, this minus IR. Then this IY minus IY, IB minus IB, right? So this see all these phase currents are available. Now we see the vector sum. I will explain again. This is the IR phase current. Opposite side we have IR minus IR phase current. This is IB phase current. Opposite side we have minus IB phase current. This is IY phase current. Opposite side we have minus IB phase current. Right? What is that IR? IR line is the vector sum of IR minus vector difference of IR and minus IB, right? So sum of vector sum of these two is nothing but IR line. Similarly, IY line is nothing but IY phase minus IR phase. So vector sum of these two is the IY line. Similarly, IB line is nothing but the vector difference of IB and IY. This minus sign is it indicates difference. That is IB line, right? So it is very clear. I will explain again. This is IR phase minus IR phase. Then IB phase minus IB phase. IY phase minus IB phase. Now we will see that. Vector sum of this difference of this IR and minus IB is IR line. The vector difference of IV, IY phase and IR phase is IY line. The vector difference of IB phase and IY phase is IB line. Right? So from this we can frame the equation. By using the parallelogram theorem, by using parallelogram theorem, we can find the value, right? So refer this phase R Y, R Y line equal to vector. This is the square root of R Y I R phase. This I R phase plus I B phase plus two I R phase I B phase cos theta. This is the formula. A square plus B square plus two A B cos theta. This is the uh, formula from the parallelogram considering the parallelogram formed by IR and IB right so IR line equal to square root of IR phase square plus IB phase square 
plus 2 IR phase IB phase into cos theta right see this IR is nothing but vector sum of difference of IR and IB based on that the equation is written we already discussed all the phase currents are equal so that IR phase square can be written as I phase square this IB phase square can be written as IB phase square but all the phase currents are equal so that 2 into I phase I phase into cos theta right so the all the currents are now equated to phase current we already discussed in the previous case now we can go for a simplification so I, P, I phase square plus I P square plus here I two times available 2 into I phase square cos 60 is 1 by 2 the cos 60 value is 1 by 2 right I will go for the further simplification so that I phase square plus I phase square this 2 2 got cancelled plus I phase square 3 times available so 3 into I phase square while taking square root it is root 3 into I P I phase right I phase square become I phase right so I R line I R line equal to root 3 times of I, I phase current line current equal to root 3 times of phase current similarly I Y line equal to I B I B line that is equal to root 3 I phase right and all the line currents are equal to root 3 times of I phase so that in delta connection line current equal to root 3 times of phase current what about the voltage line voltage is equal to phase voltage but current is line current equal to root 3 times of phase current currents is current is root 3 time and voltage is equal now we will see one more parameter power so 3 phase power equal to V phase plus I phase into cos phi similarly 3 times because of R phase Y phase and B phase so that is equal to these 3 times are available so 3 V phase I phase cos phi right so 3 V V phase is line phase voltage equal to line voltage both are equal we already discussed but phase current is line current by root 3 that is line current equal to root 3 times of phase current so that phase current equal to line current divided by root 3 into cos phi so that this 3 is written as root 3 into root 3 in order to simplify into VL IL by root 3 this root 3 root 3 got cancelled cos phi right this 3 is written root 3 into root 3 root 3 into root 3 is again 3 so that we got 3 is cancelled so that the final value is root 3 VL IL cos phi so this is the power in the delta star, star delta connection the power is root 3 times of line voltage phase voltage line voltage line current into cos phi root 3 VLIL cos phi so in this video we discuss about the delta connection balanced delta connection the relation between phase and line voltage as well as current we observe that the voltage is equal line voltage equal to phase voltage but the line current equal to root 3 times of phase current finally we discuss the power also subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening